Hi and welcome back to yet another episode of Reach Kalaj's podcast. Today it's been a long time since we talked about something that's very global and and what not to talk about uh, you know capitalistic <laughs> global. Capitalistic global and uh, today we we thought of talking about something that is called the new world order uh, and uh, the new version of the same bottle that we have been used to for so long and uh, I think uh, uh it's going to be a very interesting topic to talk about also and uh, you said like some interesting points about how we can see this mm. so we'll talk about the first initial new world order on and how the conspiracy actually works out so you know the new world order i think uh, most of you who are listening uh would be thinking that we are, we are going to be talking about china russia this country taking over that country or this is going to happen yen becoming stronger Uh, that is not the new world order that is just you know uh, existing what is just existing existing competition that is happening capitalistic competition uh, technology competition happening across the globe uh, that is not the new world order that uh, we are looking at uh, the actual new world order that we wanted to talk to all of you are about how likes on social media how interactions on social media is becoming the new currency the way how the world is perceiving the heart symbol on social media the way how businesses are perceiving the way how politicians are per- perceiving it the way how you and i common people are made to perceive about this heart symbol that we all see on social media so first we have been doing something called influencer marketing mm-hmm. you know that is how you know this thought uh, you know went deep into me and I started when i started thinking and looking at it as a future uh, we are forced to pay more money to people who have more influence more hearts more hearts basically they do not have any influence over people it is you know they have more uh, hearts basically and uh, this has become a new form of currency a new form of validation previously it is more it was we when we started uh, i remember listening to simon simon's videos where he says you know people get their uh, validation through social media social media is a drug social media is that social media is that. but now it has become a source of financial validation for companies for brands uh, we have recently seen politicians going and talking with influencers to get you know make themselves valid we've seen uh, the chennai governor talking with one of uh, a social mm. media influencer mm. to get himself validated we do not know how much money or transaction, transaction was involved but basically this new heart is becoming the new uh, new world order when it comes to currencies and it is not just in the business world we are seeing the same thing you know uh, everywhere you know we are seeing the same thing in healthcare right mm-hmm. now we are working with uh, so much of hospitals and uh, patients decide their purchases or their uh, you know service you know an ex- and service like healthcare which requires a lot of expertise which requires a lot of patience which requires a lot of training is being decided by the number of hearts that a person has number of reviews that the person has you know it does not even require a personal experience you know the first edition that comes is this and this is making all these people go behind this you know mm-hmm. like how people used to say do not go behind money you know you know panathukku pinadi odada now it is going the other way around you know people are forced to go behind this so that they can make their business successful whatever it is their venture mm-hmm. successful uh we also you know we have been uh, doing some research on only fans and uh, you know only fans also works the same way you same know way. people with the more i buzz the more i like the more, more uh, the more i am able to get paid and uh, uh this validation is basically within us you know when we look at us as uh, consumers we are giving the scope to all these people to you know get paid you know because we have started taking our conscious decision based on something that we don't even know if it is real or not you know uh, we are working with companies okay we are working with agencies we are working with people 
who buy followers who buy likes who buy shares you know you can pay money to certain companies certain scamming agencies certain farms or what so not to buy number of followers buy number of likes you know so when you want to make such decisions on your behavior on or your you know on your purchases you know do not basically do not you know it is always better to physically go understand if it is or you know if it is an impulse buy you know if you are it is a digital purchase and it is an impulse purchase please avoid it you know, we are again being more and more pushed into this capitalist ecosystem and when we look at this new ecosystem all this hearts that we see on social media the only thing that is getting more of this heart is you know lifestyle nothing other than you know it is more of food more of clothes more of men with muscles women with less dress and infinitely what it is happening is it is making you and i the end consumer wanting to buy more of this there is a huge in a hope that we get validated hope that we get not we get validated that is you know thinking that that is validation, validation. Mm. you know so thinking that that is validation people traveling to other places but end of the day we are not able to understand the small 1% part of consume the, you know the creator world the creator world is deciding your happiness or you know but this 1% part is the thing that is being held by the corporates that we have the capitalistic corporates that we have always been talking about the fashion that they are trying to bring in the ideologies that they are trying to bring into the country or to any culture they want to you know bring in new ideas new you know, bringing new ideas new cultures but faking ideas and faking culture is a very wrong you know? so that is what they are trying to push into it so this believing the world based on this is something that we all have to avoid you know and uh, especially for young people out there you know going behind the likes you know making videos or content or uh, what so not for the sake of you know f- getting validation from mm-hmm. your friends or from your peers is not the right reason to do it you know uh, the best way to look at social media you know the word social media is basically people's media it mm-hmm. is you know me sharing information either about me something that had happened personally to me or to you you know so that it is truthful to me so that is the thing that i should share on social media that is the thing that you should share you know something that happened to you your experience your truth that you can share on social media you, you know we have to stop sharing the others truth you know mm-hmm. the hidden agendas that is behind the others truth we should stop uh, sharing you know all this uh, i have been seeing you know we have opened lot of new instagram accounts and yeah. once we go into the search and what we see is men with you know all the muscles and women with less dress and you know it's not i, I won't say it is less dress it is a kinky yeah it is a very weird fetish story kinky thing. kind of dress you know this way it just more and more personifies women as a tool and men as another form of a tool like right. and it is just instagram doing this every time you open the app as a new person as a new person it, it automatically assumes that this is the thing that you going to like if you are a male you are going to like it is not thing. assumes it wants you to it like it you know right. because I, i do not know if all these likes and shares are true or not but or is it happening because of peer pressure now right. what i purely believe is or what i it's not purely believe but it is it happens because of peer pressure you know you mm. go you see something and you see okay lot of people are talking in this okay right. you are now alone you know we are in this social anti social world right now we do not have our peers close we do not play lot of games we do not have lot of friends we are all in our homes we are all locked in small circles and this looks like a channel to communicate mm. so once you go you see this is like a chat room you know i remember chat rooms back in my school days you know if a chat room has 50 people i like to go and join the chat room mm-hmm. and talk you know there will be irrelevant things going on you know again i remember but just to be a part of that you just want to be because there are 50 people let me go and we do not go join a place where there are two people, two people right mm-hmm. so it is the same thing so now this inflation as we said you know this in- initial inflation of uh, you know likes and shares can be bought can be cheated can, can be manipulated, be manipulated. Right. and I clearly believe that is what is happening, happening also and because 
and once that you know traction of mars appears it becomes more of a peer pressure for us to follow and uh, we also were doing some research on the comments on some pages yeah. <laughs> and when reading the comments it, it clearly means that people were not interested on that uh, actual persona right. of the person that uh, person was trying to share okay uh, so and even when we talk about you know my friends and family they will say like you you can dance or you can do dance reels you know they they get lot of views i have no agenda to do dance reels mm. but they think it gets more views so you should also do it to so get true mm. yeah so they are like it's like a consultation they are giving me hey, if you do like this it will <laughs> get more views dude my my entire business is different so my target audience is entirely different but they just see the overview of entertainment industry and think okay everybody is doing this and everybody should do this and they think uh, they'll they'll tell me like what 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 if i get more views like ah, it will be jolly you know like you'll be famous it will be, be you'll be famous mm-hmm. so that is one of the things that because like when you start your career like when you go into youtube or instagram they'll tell okay now you do done this you can get into vijay tv so what after that like you, you get into vijay tv they get into cinema so again you know when you said famous there is nothing called famous basically right. in mm-hmm. this whole world you know you cannot be famous because you know in india there are 130 140 million people 140 crore people 140 crore people as per aadhar card i did not know how many crores are unregistered indians are there and uh, I do not know how many post uh, likes does Rajni Gant gets. No, no, Rajni Gant is not on Instagram. I guess. Okay. I think he is on Twitter. But okay. he is not the most popular person on Twitter. No, no. In Tamil Nadu, okay, let's say uh, Vijay. Ah, uh, Vijay. Like, uh, for example, he has a very 2 million or 3 million likes. 3 million is? 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs. So it is not, it is merely 1% of the... Half, the, half a percent. Half a percent. So, you know, even Vijay is not famous for all the Tamil guys who are looking at it. So... please do not be influenced by this unfamous people that that are on social media this number 1 lakh 2 lakh these are all very very small 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 numbers It's like fake small numbers okay and believing in these numbers and taking your life decision is the worst thing that you can do and if we continuously start doing this we will enter into the most scariest world order that we are talking about you know people who influence people will be making money you know and and not just influence people by the right way you know people who can influence people through their what do you say their poor not, not even their political way through their entertainment you know right. they become the, we will we just become a victim of whatever victim of entertainment so. and just because they are famous like we are also doing things that if a famous person is doing that like this supposedly famous person is doing that then it is correct and this famous person will talk about drinking he will talk about you know smoking okay. uh, cheating on your partner or whatever the things that he is promoting and you are, you are subconsciously thinking okay if he is doing it then it is not problem for he me he is doing i have to do it yeah. no that, that's how i i remember the, what, the reason i started smoking uh, the reason i wore a pink color pant it was all because of vijay that's why like you know i'm very particularly <laughs> telling this mr vijay and i spoiled my life uh, <laughs> i don't like you anymore uh, that's why i'm telling you are the most unloved person on social media not even 10% of india not even half percent of india's population looks at you you spoiled my life <laughs> this, is, this is going as a short this is not going as a short i wore pink pants <laughs> yeah 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 i know i, I know i know green pants it's just no. a sivagasi i know the movie pants sivagasi movie a lot of uh, dingling dingling wires kodamba to ye riya wires hanging on them i used to fight with my parents for that you know thinking back you know i thought that was the right decision to do but you know i don't know i think i'm sorry but you know you might have been young no then. no this this part is not going on the shots no, that no. part is only going on he might have been like, young then he could have yeah. not understood that you know i think he, he was, was i think he was 28 or something 20. he was maybe like our age basically like that so you know he was not in the impact that he was creating on the next generation right so what mr vijay did when he was at his 28 now we see lot of young social media influencers doing, doing 16, it on 16, 16 and social on social media platforms uh, everything that you are doing is for this small thing called heart let me tell you mr vijay is not even famous so even you cannot become famous that is nothing called famous so 
live a life that is free of yeah so vanity metrics do not ma- make sense and uh, we we deal with a lot of clients who come and like they want like we want this many number of followers like mm. and that is their only goal but we will always tell them like you should focus on the revenue part of your business that is how your business runs and they will say like if this has this many views it is you know basic validation and they all have their own set of ideas put together so the entire entirety of society is revolving around that and that is why businesses also are driving towards that so if in case like you want your business business to succeed you should watch our previous video which is about startup and how you can scale your business without needing in all of these but do not focus on metrics and you know you can work on metrics but you should not focus on number of likes it has or anything you should measure it in terms of how much impact your content is making because we have made videos for the past 4 years mm. 4 years we have been making content like none of our videos have more than 200 views but we have people who constantly yeah, constant yeah. yeah. no no not all our podcasts the short content have maybe 300 mm. we don't have more than 300 content with pieces of uh, video that has 300 views but there are people who still watch our videos and you know you know like talk we, to us and and talk to us saying like they don't let's please that. stop doing it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we we still do so i we, uh, I, had, i read one more interesting article okay so when this newspaper industry came in uh every newspaper in, you know to increase their sale they started adding new new columns and always the column was about entertainment right and uh, slowly the things about science is reduced the things about development reduced the things about politics reduced but the more to increase sale the more and more thing that was added into that media was uh, science as one page and media, media and, uh, and sorry and social media so not social media so entertainment right. as media increase sports increase and the same thing is happening with social media uh, i am a big advocate of social media and a big critique of social media too but uh, as content creators on social media social media is the only platform which does not require a huge amount of infrastructure to create something and spread it across to a lot of people it only requires a camera and some mics you know just a camera is sufficient just, no, just a, a smartphone smartphone is sufficient it? correct so it is our responsibility to use it wisely and you know in we are right now influencing people to our in our next generation people of our own age people who are above us or below us but we are influencing people when we are making content on social media influence wisely influence righteously yeah and follow people who they influence with care caution so yeah that that's it for today's video thank you so much and uh, you, you had a really good deep session with ram and i hope you were able to comprehend all of that thank you so much for watching this video this is guhan and ram kesal signing off take care bye reach skyline embrace digital